Swansea, Mega Ball. In its third wars, once a heat finalist. What does it do? What does it do? It flips, it has a disc, and hopefully it moves. And it rolls over as well. If it gets flipped, it rolls over and it looks yellow, dangerous, <laughs> looks like a bee. A CO2 power flipper, 24 volt, 10 kilo disc, modified skid steer, four wheel drive, titanium body and weapon, custom made actuators, and looks mega to me. Roboteers, stand by. To the team then, all in daffodil yellow, Mega Morgue, captain by Doran Cordy on the left, panic attack captain by Kevin Pritchard on the right, spin doctor on the left, captain by Alistair Harlow, edgehog captain by Stephen Edgerton on the right. In the arena for the house robots, Mr. Psycho. And there to Cassius Crow. Three, two, one, two eight. Panic attack, slow and edgy across the arena floor. Ah, but purposeful as it knocks into Spin Doctor. 100 kilos in weight. Brightly coloured Spin Doctor, so too is Mega Morgue. Surviving the axe attack of Edgehog there. Panic attack with the side skirts, you will see, to prevent uh, being flipped. Spin Doctor very, very nearly... Ah, oh, it has! It's just nudged the pit release button because it was thrust on its side and uh, over and out, I think, to be honest. Mega Moore just backing onto Edgehog. Is that wise? Down comes the pneumatic axe. We heard from the Edgehog team that that axe weakens as a battle goes on. They need to get their strikes in early and striking against... Panic Attacks, Alloy and Polycarb Construction. Don't think we're going to see much more out of Spin Doctor, I'm afraid. They were knocked away. And out of action, Edgehog there, furious under the attack, hopping and skipping. And again, oh, flip though by Megamore. Down it comes. Inadvertently helped out by Megamore in the end as the ref bot counts down on Spin Doctor's participation in the Seventh Wars. We wondered whether it was improved, and to be honest, no. They've got to go back to the drawing board, I think. Edgehog piggybacking on Panic Attack. Panic Attack nudges Edgehog towards the side walls. Edgehog trying to self-right, coming down using the axe, bouncing away. Reversing to have a run up, pit, 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 cry the crowd. Down comes Psycho's hammer on the underneath of Spin Doctor. We mentioned to you beforehand, vulnerable on the underbelly. It's a shame for them there. You can see the back of the panic attack team. Former champions, former series semi finalists on a two or three occasions. And has never gone out at this stage. Panic attack comes in. And the Welsh here are ganging up on Edgehog. Megamorph from Swansea, panic attack from Cardiff. They're scrumming down together. And Edgehog out as a result. Celebrations in the Welsh camps. Not too sure if you're supposed to hit the plexiglass, but anyway. There they go, teaming up, and Edgehog goes down into the pit. And Mr. Psycho comes in with spin... <laughs> Dropped Spin Doctor there. Just wonder whether Mark Cooper's going to have a sore fist after hitting that plexiglass. No, Spin Doctor is too late now. Far too late. Ah, but just squeezing away from the house robots there. A nimble piece of footwork, so to speak. But they know they've got to do a little bit better next time. The Spin Doctor team. Alistair Harlow and uh, Dad Tim. Disappointed and gruesomely awaiting their fate. On the floor flipper, gently positioned by Cassius Crow. A one-eyed monster and jealous of anything that enters his arena, like Spin Doctor. Well done, Mega Morgan. Panic attack. What a fantastic battle. Spin Doctor can't talk its way out of that. The winners are the yellow robots. That's Panic Attack and Mega Moon! Heat 2 is for a place in the Heat final. We've got Mega Morg versus Robo Chicken right here. How are you feeling, Mega Morg boys? It's a bit of a farmyard battle, isn't it? Sheep against the chickens. We got a secret weapon, though. 
What's your secret weapon? We've got the flower there as well. Um, it's a self-raising flower and it's going to be our new Streamac, so we're hopeful that that's going to work as well. Um, but we're going to take them up, we're going to get in the corners, we're going to get on a weapon, we're going to be around the back, up the top, everywhere, looking for the eggs. Fighting talk. Yeah, yeah, we're not right. We're feeling quite cocky, actually, about this one. Deep, and I believe you lads are great friends. You were all out drinking last night. We're, we a we shared a couple. Juices. Shared a couple. Yeah, well, I'm driving again, and I don't feel that good this morning, as they will know over that side, so it should be fun anyway. So we've got we've got five hangovers here. Is that what we're saying? Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, just just the one hangover, and we're sharing it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you better get a little bit more aggressive because you're just about to fight each other, and this is serious. Yes, come yeah. on. For a part in the come heat on. final. Come on. Come on. Come I'm on. More aggression. Come on. More aggression. More testosterone. Yeah. This is not good enough yet. More. Chicken. The excellent machine of the hungover team, Jason Snow, Farron White and Alec Dick. Mega ball. And there, hardly bleating, the wise cracking Dorian Cordy on the left, Mark Hooper on the right-hand side. Roboteers, stand by. There's Sergeant Bash in the arena for the house robots. Mr Psycho 2. 3, 2, 1, activate. Megamorg onto the attack. Robo Chicken steered away by Farron <laughs> into the house robot. Trying to get the high power flipper working early. I mean, this is a good even fight. Now, what's happened to Megamorg? They've hurtled straight into the arena wall, got themselves stuck in there, finally away, and crash again into the arena wall. To be honest, if there were breathalyzers here, I'm not too sure. Mega Morg and Robo Chicken crash and bash. They've entered the spirit though of Robot Wars, as it should be played and battle. Good teams. Robo Chicken gets the full thrust of the flip. Mega Morg is over. Can they self right? This is going to be a problem for them. Robo Chicken, I think, has won it here. On the attack, lifting. And over went Megamore. And I don't think the Welsh Dragon is going to be flying anymore. Something's come off Robo Chicken there. I think it's the little, little one of the little bits be, behind the eyes, but uh, nothing mechanical. The greater worry is for Megamore. Barrel shaped. Needs a roly poly over. Robo Chicken. Trying to turn and get the spinning disc into play, of course. Dorian Cordy there, trying to get some life out of Megamore. Pit release. Alarm signal. Ref bot counting. Robo chicken a shove. Mr. Psycho awaits. Hammer in position. Eyes blinking. Bash. Megamore counted out. Bash. Any damage? Here, a glance, a shimmer, a shine, a clutch. <laughs> well, they've been good fun, and they're on the drop zone. They're about to get a bit of a wash and rinse. <laughs> Counting down with it. Good stuff. And that particular washing cycle has left Megamorg rocking, beaten. And their hopeful run to glory has ended right here and now. <laughs> Down goes the washing machine. That gives you some sense of the size of the pit, though, and also of Megamorg. Well done, Robo Chicken. Robo Chicken, they're through to the heat final! For all these years, yeah. you come back time and time again. You think you'd build a robot with a self writer? Yeah, we bought the uh, self writer, which is a self raising flower. Self raising flower, very good, sir. But it didn't work. It didn't work, no. Yeah. And um, 
Well, the robot's not working that well either, is it? No, I think we're going to have to retire this one. I yeah. think it's, yeah, it's going to go in on, on Mark's mantelpiece. And uh, it'll be something to look back on in years to come. Yeah. You know, and when we come back again with a bigger, stronger, yellower and blacker <laughs> flipper and, and chicken or snake or something or other, some yeah. sort of animal it'll be, yeah. then we'll, uh, we'll give it a fair crack then. Tell you one thing, we like you coming. The atmosphere in the pitch is always great when you lads are around. And please, build a better robot, win something. Do Meccano do one? So. <laughs> they probably do. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Megamorg! <laughs> yeah, <laughs>